Hi everybody, it's David Oak Knob Rocks. I'm processing some stones that I got from the Self-Reliant Rojo. As Bob and Mrs. B were traveling the country, they grabbed some rocks. It's going to be a nice batch of stuff through the Templar. It's a whole bunch of assorted rocks. I'm going to cut some things um, with, the saw, with the saw. And um, this will give you kind of an idea of the convoluted path. This is going to be a little bit hard to follow a particular stone because a whole batch of stones that might start out in 60 grit and 75% of it progresses forward and the remaining 25 stays back and then stuff stuff moves forward and backwards in line basically through the different grits as uh, as needed to get rid of some remaining rough spots and uh, it depends on how many air bubbles might be in a stone or how fragile it is or quick how soft it is something really soft will, will uh, grind away quickly for example so you'll kind of get to see how stuff kind of moves forward and backwards in line and the weird path that it takes through the tunneling process. Alright, to recap, in case you didn't see it, this is the, uh, the collection that came from Bob at the Self-Reliant Roadshow. He uh, gathered these up as he was traveling around the country. Uh, this large stuff I'm definitely going to cut. These are some more interesting pieces that I would also like to cut up, you know, maybe into some slices or things, just because they, uh, they're the more spectacular looking stuff in here that are going to make some really great slice pieces. So today, I'm not going to process anything over there, but I am going to put these things in the tumbler and get this first batch going. These are the uh, two batches out of the tumbler. Um, this is not actually the, the two batches. I've, I've split them now. This batch here, I'm going to move on to the next grit, and these ones are going to go back in to uh, get some, some more, a uh, little more smoothing. Okay, this is the barrel full that's going back into 60-90 grit. I just uh, washed it with some soap tumbled around a little bit and uh, now I have to add some more. It's, it's way too shallow. So I'm going to slice this and I'm obviously going to slice it in this direction. So let me get the nice banding showing through all the pieces. This one I'm going to put in solo because I actually have, this is a Montana agate, and I have a piece that looks like New Hampshire. And if you put it this way and it polishes nice, it will almost look like New Hampshire. And if not, we can put it that way and say it looks like Vermont. So, that one's going in as is. Uh, these ones I am going to cut into, this one I'm going to probably cut into three pieces. And this one I think I'm just going to continue this cut across and have a big piece and a small piece. So, that stuff's going to go. Here's that on. batch coming out of 220. See the rocks are getting quite a bit smaller now than when they started. And now they're looking really good. When they're wet they're nice and glossy like they should be at this stage and they're ready for 600 grit. Uh, because this batch is getting smaller and smaller, I'm going to set these ones aside. There's no sense in putting a, a quarter of a barrel in the tumbler, so these ones are going to get set aside until I have the next batch of uh, 220 finished up so I can mix them together. And here's this batch, just exiting 60-90 grit. It's looking really, really nice. So we need to fill the 60-90 grit now, so I'm going to use this combination. Um, down this end, it's petrified wood. Most of them are a pretty good size. We have a lot of small tumbles so far, so I want to make some big ones. But I might cut these two larger pieces in half. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to leave these these ones about the same size they are. Likewise with these, these are all Montana agates. Um, I think I might cut this big one, but leave the other ones kind of nice big eggs and stuff. Well, I actually cut more uh, stone than I really needed to fill the barrel. The barrel's full, and uh, most of this... Um, Petrified wood is still uh, still outside the barrel, and these are the the butt ends. They're wet, just fresh off the saw, but the butt ends of this stack. Okay, this is the next batch ready to go, and the chopped up pieces of fossilized wood going into 60 grit. All right, the Montana agate has uh, tumbled for a week, and it's still got some pits in it. You can see it the. Uh, the rock dust slurry, now that it's dry, has stuck in the pits, and uh, I think it needs another. I think it needs another go. All right, this is all out of 220 now. A lot of it's looking really nice. There's some really great looking pieces in here. Uh, there's a few that are still a little craggy. You know, some some chips. This one I might even put back into rough grit. But uh, some of these I'm gonna I'm gonna retumble. They're not quite as smooth as I would like at this stage. The rest is gonna progress. And um, I still have a bag 
from uh, previously uh, stuff that's done with 220 that I'll add with it. Well, let's have a little look at this batch. It's pretty much mostly Montana agates. Um, a little bit of petrified wood in here and things, but uh, it's for the most part looking pretty good. Um, some of it's still a little rough. I'll probably put that just a few more of these pieces. I'll go back to 60 grit that are still too, too funky. This batch is exiting uh, 60 to the 60 90 grit now. Some of it's starting to look pretty good. I do like some of these. Uh, some of these pieces are looking good. These uh, these are looking fine. So a lot of these are going to move up to 220 grit. Some of them, like this big boy, and a couple others are just still a little like this one here. Let's see how rough that is. So I'm going to put things like things like that back in, try and kind of beat that kind of stuff up a little bit more. All right, it's been just a touch over a week, and this stuff is really looking good. It's, uh, you can't tell when it's dry as much. Um, I'm letting it dry so you get a fair representation of what it looks like, because when it's wet, it actually looks pretty fabulous right now, actually. So, this stuff is all done with 220. And what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I have another bag of 220 over here that I've been saving up. So all of this will now go together into stage three, the final, the final grit before we polish. All right, look at these end results, guys. Really nice looking stuff. A great piece of soda light. I believe that was a uh, piece of fossilized wood. This is Harry. Hi, Harry. I I'm, I'm kind of. You want to help? Yes. Hi. Yes. I would love. A, I would love. I would love a hug. So I'll hold Harry as we look through the rest of this. These over here, are Montana agates, for the most part, that kind of root beer colored ones. Another cat over here. These look, these look fantastic. Check these out. Some really good stuff. I think this is fossilized wood, and it didn't seem none of it has a sheen. So I don't know that any amount of polishing, I think it might be soft enough that it's just going to keep eroding and not actually ever develop a shine. So, uh, Harry, why don't you go down here for a minute? <laughs> but yeah, some really great looking stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you like that. A lot of those turned out really great. Some really nice stuff in there. So uh, please check back soon. I have uh, more rocks from Bob that I'm processing, and all the videos will be up here shortly. So thanks for watching, and uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, hope to see you soon.